This is an early Model 2E from 1983. It is what they call unenhanced. Apple released updated ROMs called an enhancement kit that gave the 2E improved capabilities and brought it in line with the 2C. And I just happened to buy an enhancement kit for this one to uh, allow it to run later software. Anti-static strap, chip puller, new chips. Need to replace the CD-ROM, the EF-ROM, the video-ROM, and the 6502 is replaced with a 65C02. Removed all the cards to make room and unplugged it. And now let's pull out the video-ROM. These older units, the chips can get really stuck in there. It's not budging. Wedge up one side with a screwdriver. And let's see if we can get the other side to come out. There we go. Pins look good. Put that back down there. Put the new chip in. This down and we'll replace the old chip in the anti-static foam. Next is the 6502. Stuck in there good. Break free. not good. Pins look okay. Put the new one down. Uh, here the legs are spread too far apart so we're going to bend them inward slightly. socket is tight. Put the old one back. Here. Take a close look at the chip after you put it in the socket. Careful viewers will just have noticed that I just put it in upside down. The notch should line up with the notch on all the other chips. All the other chips, the notch is facing downwards. That's better. And the last two, the EF ROM and the CD ROM. One doesn't have anything for me to lever against. Just remove the CD ROM. So I'm going to put the CD ROM in here, which is actually not a CD ROM. These pins are folded under, so they're bent inwards too far. Easy enough to fold them in a little bit, but I've never had to fold them out. Get it to line up with the holes here. I'm going to take a very close look with the magnifier before I press that down. Lined up over here.
pull out the EF arm now. aren't lined up. Pins are towed inward just slightly on one side it seems. I'm just gently bending them outwards a little bit with my thumb. Eyeballing it. They feel lined up this time. Put the old chips away in case we want to reverse this mod. I've got all the chips replaced. ReactiveMicro.com even sends you an enhanced sticker to put down over the power button like they did with the originals. So we'll put it back together now and turn it on and see if it's enhanced. Here goes nothing. That's the onboard diagnostics, which I launched intentionally. It's different now. It looks pretty much the same as the onboard diags on the 2C. System OK. And here's the confirmation that we're upgraded on the diagnostics disk. System status shows Apple IIe enhanced. ROM version E0. That's it. Thanks for watching.